Hey everyone, I want to go over the simple way on how you can make this time lapse using only the built in features on the camera and your video editing software. To record this time lapse, I'm going to be using the time lapse movie setting on my old Canon 80D. When I go into the settings, I'm going to set the interval to 20 seconds and set the number of shots to the maximum amount that it would let me. After that, you click OK and you're ready to go. To be able to run the camera for so long, you have to use an adapter like this. This one's specifically made for the Canon camera, and it plugs right into a regular wall receptacle. I'll have the link below for more info. Because I had the camera placed inside the house, you have to worry about light reflections against the window. So I used this large sock to wrap around the whole end, and then placed the other sock on top to add extra light absorption. This is especially helpful when it comes to the nighttime shooting. So diving into Final Cut, we're going to import each of our clips that the camera created. And these are all separate times that I had checked on the camera, stopped it, checked out what was going on, and restarted it for another clip. So we're going to put all these clips into the progression of our whole time lapse. All you will do is add a cross dissolve in between all of them. It's this cross dissolve right here. And you will just fade each clip into each other and that will help smooth out the transition between the two. Now, as you can see in this section, this is when it goes from daytime to nighttime over here. So this one, in some of the areas, you might have to have a longer cross fade also, on the in-between time from day into night, this is your personal preference, but what I did is keyframed the exposure of the shot and also the temperature, uh, color temperature of the shot. If you look over here under my color wheels, I adjusted this temperature, and you can see when I scroll from the beginning to the end, that temperature adjusts. And to make that keyframe, let me reset so you can see it starts out cool but gets really cool looking at the end. At the beginning of that, I'll hit the keyframe button and then I'll go towards the end. Now you might want to do this before your transition. I'll go all the way to the end and then I will make my adjustment. So just some messing around with quick adjustments here just to show you. You can see these settings change as I scroll through. So then if you also want to do the exposure, go to the color board and then let me reset these. And you can see we start getting really dark. Start at the beginning and make a keyframe and then scroll to the end, use your arrow key to get in between that last frame, make sure the clip is selected, and then I'll raise the exposure, raise the highlights a lot, because that really helps out with getting this darker one, kind of similar to the beginning. So let's say about right there, and then you can see the transition is not nearly as noticeable as it had been. Let's hit, put in the cross dissolve, and then we'll be able to have a nice fade into the sky looking kind of similar. You can see that gives you a little bit more of a fade. It's a much simpler way to use the tools that you already have to create these transitions than maybe buying another software or something. As you progress through these clips in the transition, keep uh, customizing it to the look you want using the temperature and exposure and creating those keyframes from the beginning to the end so that the clip, the whole clip itself looks similar. So then when you do the crossfade, it, it makes it look as the best way it possibly can using this method. So after you finish all of those clips and you've edited everything you need to do, you have all your transitions placed. Uh, right now, this time lapse is sitting at two minutes and you know, 45 seconds, nearly three minutes long. Well, nobody's gonna wanna watch a time lapse probably for three minutes. So what we're going to do is highlight this whole thing. Right click, 
and do a new compound clip. So I'm going to call this new storm time-lapse compound clip. Hit OK. So you have this whole thing all in one clip. All you have to do is go up here to the timing and hit the fast and let's say 20x to see where that puts us. So when we zoom in, you can see that times 20 speed brought us down to just under 10 seconds. Well, I don't want to do it that short because it's almost to where you can't even hardly see any detail. So I'm going to drag this out to about a 30 second clip. We have our clip, it's out 30 seconds and it's rendering right now, so that's why it's blacking out. So if you do watch this time lapse and you see something that needs adjusted, and when you double click on your clip, it will bring it out to the original clips that you put together, and you can uh, make any adjustments you want to to any individual clip. And then to get back, you just hit this little back button right here. And it brings you out to your time lapse. And that's basically it. That's how you create this simple version of a multi-day time lapse. Lastly, I want to say thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. If it helped you out at all or gave you some ideas, if you could do me a favor and click the buttons down there that help the channel do better, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.